What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving, right? This video is entitled, Stop Being Single Mother Sympathizers. I gotta clap my hands like a dot so you understand. Did a video maybe a few days ago about Dwight Howard's son saying my dad ain't a real dad. And some of the ladies were in there commenting about, you know, his, his scandals and this, that, and the third. And I get all of that. Some of the ladies are talking, you know, they were talking about how you know, he shouldn't be having all these kids. I get all that. I said that was his fault for having all them kids with all them different women. I get all that. But see, this is where things get hairy for a lot of you women who like to just be sympathizers of single mothers. What, you, you, what, what you're really doing is you're saying that being an evil female doesn't matter. Being a manipulative female doesn't matter. Being trifling doesn't matter as long as you had a baby with a guy. See, if you are the type of woman to have a baby with a guy because he got money, and then all of a sudden, it's the daddy, it's the daddy. You went in there with self-serving intentions anyways. You didn't care about being a mother. You cared about getting a big check using motherhood. But we're not supposed to say that, right? Because you're a single mother sympathizer. You can't say that that's what women are doing, right? Well, you know, she's an angel, even though... No, 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 no. I was talking about a woman who, who used her quote-unquote child's father's fame to get on a television show. Was that, did that have anything to do with being a mother? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So somebody's having a kid for a check. Obviously, just because they're having a baby for a check, that doesn't mean that, I don't know, they'll probably not be good at raising kids. I mean, that, that can't, you know, that doesn't cross your mind at all. Matter of fact, let's take this a step further. When I say something like, these kids wind up being emotional and disrespectful every time that their father does something well. Maybe it's because he's not there. Maybe it's because they taught the kid to hate their dad. Because, see, you single mother sympathizers want to act like these women ain't out here te telling their children or teaching their children to hate their father. You've seen, you seen people doing it in the house with dads, and you see them doing it when dad's not in, in the house in the house. So, what are you talking about? But, but as a woman and as a mother, <laughs> so for, as a woman, as a mother, you could be trifling 365 days of the year, 18 years in a row. But <laughs> it's a man. Because <laughs> it was a man. A man may not act like that. No. 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 When, when you got girlfriends who treat their children like trash in front of you. But it's because she's a woman and she's a woman and she's, a woman and she's stressed out. It's because the man ain't around. She just, she just, she, she, you know, she, she's going through a lot. Some of y'all beating the brakes off of y'all kids. And y'all women know that your friends beating the brakes off of their kids. Not for discipline reasons, but because of anger issues. But, uh, 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 I would never. But you're a single mother sympathizer. For the guys who, you know, who come to get their children and you've seen people or you've been the mother to call the cops because he come to get, come get the baby. <laughs> but all of a sudden, hey, he's trying to kill us. Uh, I don't understand why he wouldn't come by there and why he wouldn't call. How many of the mothers you know who pull a stunt? You ain't got to talk to him. You ain't got to say nothing to him. You know, he ain't nobody. That's what they tell the kids. While the kids are actually talking to their fathers. You know that. You know people like that. And if you don't know people like that, you've heard of people like that. 
Some of y'all have seen this with your own eyes. But then somebody comes up, oh, I don't understand why him and that kid not talking. Oh, he needs to be a better man. You want to play these games? You, can, you can't stop being a single mother sympathizer. Something about it really triggers you. And that's silly. You know, like, what about, you know, he has a girlfriend or he has a fiance, he has a wife. Now all of a sudden, you so mad that you, it spills over into the kid. He don't love you because he was, he was, ah, ah. He ain't never done to you again because he would he would that heifer. No, you can't go to that wedding. Ah. Ah. We're not gonna talk about that, right? You're gonna be a single mother sympathizer and be like, well, you know, maybe she was going through something and she, you know. What about the women who wanted to be single mothers, you know, in general? They didn't wanna actually have a marriage or a family with a man. They want to have a kid so they can have primary custody or, or, or unilateral decision making. And then all of a sudden when it don't work, you know this girl just, you know, she got baby fever and she wanted to have a kid for her own selfish reasons. reasons. But all of a sudden that doesn't play out when it comes to parenting and co-parenting. Don't, that, that don't play out to you. You know she had the kid for, for her own wants. Whether they were emotional, superficial, selfish, whatever they were. But all of a sudden, there's a woman, there's a mother. You want to be a single mother sympathizer and act like this is not happening. You want to act, you know, you, you know, you want to act like you don't have girlfriends who try to have a baby to keep a guy. But uh, he needs to be a better man. What about, he needs to be a better man. Oh, okay. Yeah, so your girlfriend or you don't need to be a better woman and not do stuff like that. Or then act like that's leverage. See, when you're trying to have a baby... To keep a man, you acting like that's leverage. When you're trying to have a baby because you want a baby, and now, you know, I'm going to put you on child support because, you know, that's leverage. I lied to you and said I was on birth control. That's leverage. But then when God said, I'm not trusting you at all, I don't mess with you at all because you, 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 you're trying to manipulate a child for leverage. You're using a kid as a pawn so you can get things that you want as leverage. I'm not, I'm not messing with you. Oh, the child don't deserve for you not to be in the child. Child don't deserve to be used as a pawn either. Child don't deserve for, for you to actually think, I just want to have a baby and I want to get pregnant because I want a child. And, you know, since I got to since I gotta have a man involved in that process, you know, I figure out a way to get rid of him after the fact. And then when it don't work out, it's because of the man. See, y'all sympathize with, with all these women doing all this stuff. And then you talk about how, you know, the society and women are looking, we're the, we're the real men, and the men, you know, the men are not real men because the father's not in the home. And a lot of these men were raised by mamas who had bad intentions to begin with. But women can't have bad intentions, huh? Women just can't do things for selfish reasons that, that get, you know, put them in a bad spot. You got to blame a man for that. You can't say people are grown. You know, they grown. Well, if they grown, let them act grown. You can't do that? You got to sympathize everything? What about when these women receive, I don't know, child support, and they spend it on themselves, and then the kids are, are lacking? Oh, man, I need to do more. Y'all are tripping. But I'm done. Like, share, subscribe. Catch you on the next one. Peace.